everyone, and welcome back to Acting One. This week, what we're going to cover is imagination. Imagination is the foundations for everything that we do. If you can't imagine it, it's not possible. And so an actor's primary resource, the thing you need to constantly be working on, is your imagination. Now, when you're a kid, you don't worry about that at all. And if you've ever watched children play on a playground, they can turn anything into whatever landscape they want. Have you ever watched a kid go, I'm a tiger, and they just turn into a tiger, and they feel and, and see the world as whatever they are experiencing or pretending to be? We need to get back to that. See, what happened was you had that. And then somewhere along the line, you got made fun of for you, the use of your imagination. And so you hid it from everyone. And there are two types of imagination. And Stanislavski talks about this in his book. But there are two types of imagination. And both of those are very important to acting. The first is passive imagination. Passive imagination is what you do to relax. That's if I told you to lay down, close your eyes and imagine that you're on a beach. Breathe in and breathe out. Now imagine that the waves are coming right up to your feet. Feel the hot sand underneath your back. Hear the birds in the sky. Hear the waves of the ocean. Well, eventually you would find this really peaceful trance. And that is passive imagination. You're not doing anything. You're sitting down and you're imagining this, right? So if I asked you to lay down and imagine that you were building a sand castle, you could do it, but you'd probably fall asleep. And in the book, an actor prepares, that's what the main character does. He ends up trying to do something like that, but he's using his passive imagination and he falls asleep, so he doesn't think that it works. Well, your active imagination is what you as an actor are going to be doing a lot of, and you need to really practice this. This is where you're going to sit down and actively do the thing, but you're going to be pretending. So the difference would be between passive and active imagination. If I asked you to lay down, close your eyes, and to imagine you were building a sandcastle, you would, that would be your passive imagination. But if I asked you to sit up and build a sandcastle, pretend that there's sand in front of you, and build a sandcastle, and really make it detailed, that would be your active imagination. And what's amazing about your active imagination is the more you do it, the more you get into it. And the more that happens, it starts to affect your feelings. It starts to affect your personality. And you start to inhabit the world that you are creating in your head. That is what we do. That's what you need to practice. So one of the assignments that you are going to have to do this week is I want you to go and use your active imagination. If you have a kid, this is, or a little brother, or a little sister, this is the perfect time for you to go and play with them. So just decide, all right, let's go turn our house into a jungle gym, or a war zone, or the floor is now lava, and throw pillows out, and you have to escape the lava. Anything like that, but I want you to get in touch with your active imagination and to creatively play. We have to start somewhere, and that's one of the most important things that you can do. All right, everyone, I can't wait to hear what you decide to do and the fun activities that you're going to do because you're going to tell us all about them in the discussion board. All right, everyone, enjoy the activities and I'll see you on the other side.